Cheops Pyramid has a height of 146 meters. This monumental structure was the highest building in the world for over 4,000 years, the only surviving wonder of the ancient world. The Great Pyramid still attracts countless visitors from all over the world. Although the famous Pyramids of Giza and the no less famous Sphinx are among the most breathtaking structures in history, they still hide some great mysteries many centuries after their completion. Scientists, archaeologists, and history enthusiasts would give anything to get on a time machine and reveal a fundamental question. How did the ancient Egyptian builders do to create their imposing pyramids without the use of modern technology? The good news is that there is no need to wait for the invention of a time machine to have an answer to this ancient mystery. In fact, some experts recently announced that they have finally deciphered the mystery of the construction of the Great Pyramid of Cheops. Before starting, make sure you press the like button and activate the notification bell for other videos. In today's video, we will show you exactly the meaning of this fascinating intuition on the Pyramid of Cheops, one of the architectural wonders of antiquity. The Pyramid of Cheops, originally high 146.6 meters, has been the highest of all these monumental tombs and is often called simply Great Pyramid. Even today, 4,500 years after its completion, this unique structure has not only lost its height over time. Originally, the large pyramid was adorned with a Terea white limestone coating, which was almost completely removed in the Middle Ages. Even the magnificent top of the pyramid, with the so-called medium pyro in basaltic granite, is no longer preserved according to the current state of knowledge. Giza's Great Pyramid was a huge tomb dedicated to the homonymous pharaoh, as some discovered inscriptions suggest. However, those who do not believe that the structure was the last home of the ancient Egyptian sovereign sovereign stress that, although a sarcophagus was found inside the pyramid, no funeral set has been found or a corpse. Most historians suggest that the structure was probably visited and sacked by Tomboroli already in the pharaonic era. Although the exact function of the respective internal rooms has not yet been completely deciphered, it is considered likely that they were closely linked to the ancient Egyptian beliefs, according to which the deceased pharaoh had to go through certain areas before being able to ascend to heaven. But it is not only the internal complexity that arouses heated debates, but also the dimensions of the Cheope Pyramid. The structure consists of about 3 million stone blocks, each of which weighs on average 2.5 tons, since the workers of ancient Egypt obviously did not have modern technological equipment of construction today, the question arises, how did they build such gigantic buildings with the simple means of their time? This question has often tormented scientists and historians. As far as we know, the Egyptian pyramids are much larger than everything that would have been possible at this point in the history of humanity. Furthermore, it seems that the Egyptians had a very advanced knowledge of mathematics and architecture, which once again should not have been possible thousands of years ago. So how did this ancient human settlement know so much of our natural world and to create such a great building? The enigma of the construction of the Chiope Pyramid was completed by his manufacturers with such precision that not even a drop of water or a human hair could penetrate the adjacent blocks. The amazing north-south alignment of the building also amazes us for its precision. To some, it seems inconceivable that the ancients were able to build such imposing complexes. In reality, some are convinced that the ancient Egyptians have received help from a real other world for the construction of their pyramids. These are extraterrestrial beings who regularly visited our blue planet and were venerated by terrestrials as supernatural deities. The thesis advanced by the British John Taylor in 1859 on the construction of the pyramids does not seem less adventurous. At the time, the publisher was firmly convinced that it was the people of the Old Testament who erected the imposing building. Consequently, the Pyramid of Cheops constituted a sort of representation of biblical history, including the crucifixion, resurrection, and return of Jesus Christ. The problem with the New Testament is that when Jesus Christ was sent to earth, the Pyramid of Cheops adorned the Plateau of Giza for about 2,500 years. At the end of the 19th century, another theory argued that the following pyramids were originally small mountains. These were used as capitals, and only in this way I receive their iconic pyramidal shape. Compared to the theory of levitation, according to which the massive blocks were made to rise and stacked on each other for psychokinians, the theory of the quarry seems at least plausible. However, according to the beliefs of some historians, the time of wild speculations and great conjectures is finally finished. 
A simple parchment should help to decipher the mystery of the construction of the Great Pyramid once and for all. A sensational discovery, even with our current resources, building a Great Pyramid would be an arduous feat. Experts estimate that an exact replica of the Chiopi Pyramid would require no less than 2,000 workers, 5 years and $5 billion. As a result, the realization of this mammoth project many thousands of years ago was no less complex. According to the testimonies of the Greek historian Herodotus, the construction of the Pyramid of Cheops involved 100,000 workers. Other sources speak of 360,000 workers. The completion of the monumental tomb required a total of 20 years. To coordinate and supervise the gigantic army of workers, numerous supervisors were employed. And the notes of this supervisor, who responded to the name of the sea, were recovered some time ago in a port of the Red Sea. He recorded practically everything related to the ambitious construction project in his onboard diary. As a result, the ancient Egyptians would have created special water channels to transport the necessary boulders on ships to the construction site. The journey from the corresponding Cava di Tura to the Giza Plateau would have lasted three days. But can the reports of the ancient superintendents also be tried by archaeological finds? The answer is yes. In fact, several remains of boats have already been found on the Giza Plateau. A German architect jumped on the front pages of the newspapers a few years ago when he brought the role of the water in the construction of the pyramids at a completely new level. But what does this unique theory consist of? An underground island. In his notes on the construction of the pyramids, Herodotus speaks of an island on an underground lake fueled by a Nile channel. However, the Greek historian lived more than 2,000 years after the construction of the pyramid and sometimes obtained his information from rather dubious sources. Some experts believe that Herodotus received false information and that a lake under the Pyramid of Cheops has never existed. However, the architect Bernard Karras believes that an underground lake with an island existed and that he will solve the secular mystery on how the structure was built. According to this theory, the island would have been a central transport hub from which the limestone blocks of the weight of different tons were raised. In this regard, it is commonly assumed that the Egyptians have managed the transport of their massive components using special systems of ramps. A hypothesis as complicated as it is not very practical, according to Karras. Even if it can be assumed that the manufacturers of the Great Pyramid have used ramps, there are still unresolved mysteries. The higher a pyramid, the longer the ramps must have been. Cheops' pyramid was 146 meters high, so if the slope should not exceed 5 or 20 percent, the ramp had to be incredibly long. If each side had a size equal to 10 times the mass of the pyramid, it would have been about 3 kilometers long. Otherwise, he should have wrapped around the pyramid, which means that the ramps could not be the only way to bring the blocks to the top of the pyramid. Egyptologist and engineer Frank Muller Romer hypothesizes that there were ramps on all sides of the pyramid. All sides worked simultaneously and the ramps had to be much more steep than as hypothesized. In addition, the boulders were pulled up with ropes. The steep ramps, the less space occupy. However, at least in the lower part of the ramp, two ramps could be built on their respective sides. Another possible theory is that cattle bones may not have been used exclusively to feed the workers. It is possible that cattle have pulled the blocks rather than men or ropes. Considering that a normal cow can pull about 7,000 pounds of weight, and we know that each of the blocks used to build the pyramids weighed about 5,500 pounds, it is reasonable to suppose that the cattle could have helped men to pull the blocks to the top. However, it is not known with certainty what knowledge actually had the ancient Egyptians in terms of building skills in the 4th century after Christ, when Alexander the Great destroyed almost all the knowledge accumulated by the Egyptians. It is not known how much the Egyptians knew and with what knowledge they were able to build such gigantic pyramids. The most recent pyramids suggest that the Egyptians were far ahead of their time. They had an advantage of gigantic knowledge compared to the other peoples of their time. This corresponds to the idea that Cheope's pyramid was double the width of its base. However, this means that the ancient Egyptians had to know the most Greek number and know how to apply it. But the Greek number had not yet been discovered, at least as far as we know. The greatest task that the ancient Egyptians had to face at the time was the inclination of the walls of the pyramids. A huge effort would have been necessary to hoist blocks that weighed several tons. This problem was recognized and skilled by the ancient Egyptians. They placed an artificial lake and an interchangeable lift with which loads up to 30 tons could be transported to any height with a single effort. According to mere documents, 
if the boulders were transported to ships and then downloaded directly to the underground island, they could be brought to the final position with the elevator. Once the monumental structure is completed, the previously created water channels and the underground lake were filled. This special construction process has made it possible to decipher other mysteries such as the strangely tortuous trend of the procession route and the unreached position of the king's chamber. Consequently, the final rest of the Pharaoni's final rest is not exactly found on the central axis of the pyramid, which had been occupied by the interchangeable elevator during the construction phase. Have the pyramids have been built by aliens? We now come to one of the most controversial theories on the ancient Egyptian pyramids. While most modern researchers focus mainly on how the inhabitants of the time have managed to build such imposing structures, this thesis is different. According to this theory, the inhabitants of the Pharaonic kingdoms were in lively exchange with extraterrestrial visitors. Extraterrestrials are said to not only were venerated as divinity, but that they had also provided to the Egyptian futuristic technologies they used to create the imposing pyramids in no time. In addition to the imposing tombs, even the mysterious hieroglyphics, strange images and inscriptions serve as alleged evidence of the authenticity of extraterrestrial theories. Do you think that the ancient Egyptians really received the help of aliens in the construction of their pyramids? Or are these theories just invented fairy tales? Let us know what you think in the comments. In reality, it is easy to understand how many people cannot believe that the pyramids have been made by man. After all, they are some of the most magnificent structures that have ever been built, and it is difficult to imagine how a human being could have conceived such an idea, not to mention its realization in the real world. Therefore, Believe that the pyramids have been built by aliens is not so bizarre. We cannot demonstrate how human beings have created them, so it is highly plausible that they simply did not have it. What do you think of the sensational discovery of the ancient onboard diary and the great mysteries that still infest the Cheope's Pyramid? Let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and comments.